Hey everyone, it's Ryzen. Welcome back to Let's Play Odin Sphere. Well, let's uh start up Armageddon for the final time. This time we're uh gonna do things correctly. I'm gonna leave all these scenes in because it seems kinda weird to skip them during the finale, but Yeah, maybe that's just me. Maybe you can not get possessed this time, uh, Ingwe. Maybe you shouldn't have done that then. Well, good thing your girlfriend's not human. This shall be my end. But I cannot rot like this. Ah, yes, the baby dragon no one killed. For no explicable reason. Why is Levent then even, like, following this guy? <laughs> they never really explained that. I guess because it hatched and saw him? Maybe the crown... ...makes him have to obey him? I, I don't know. Not a big deal. Yeah, that would be Odin who re reactivated it. I forgot about that. But this is total bullshit, because... Valentine was clearly going after the ring while the cauldron was still activated before uh, Velvet shut it off. Gonna have to put a stop to that, for real this time. What a terrible sight. So this is what remains of King Valentine. Yeah, just a bag of bones. You're alive. You still hide. Coward. Are you any better? You fled from the netherworld. Well, more like Cornelius let him out on accident. You share my noble blood. Come to think of it, this entire thing is Cornelius' fault. Then again, it was Ingwe who put him in the netherworld, so technically this is all your fault, Ingwe. Yeah, Ingwe would know about the whole cauldron uh, exploding if it is destroyed. So yeah, it makes more sense now that he knows that he would die if he destroys the cauldron. Based on his dialogue and what we see from the generic scene. I like how they just title it The Land of Despair and Misery. There it is again. Someone is calling upon the power of Darkova once more. Stop! My blood is boiling, but the anticipation awakens a sick pleasure inside well, me. Well, I'm gonna get a sick pleasure from killing you, so, you know. Guess it's even there. That woman sends her servants to restrain me once again. Well, not exactly. So, why exactly is this guy, like, second in command of the netherworld, apparently? Like, are these Halia former servants of King Galen? I, I don't... I don't get it. Yeah, 
yeah, I'm, I'm just assuming they're going to serve the strongest guy here, which is this guy. Even though you totally can, and you've done it before. What? Rest assured, King Gallen. There is a way to escape. I've been randomly brought back into the plot for no real good reason. My appearance has changed, but my loyalty has not. Also, I'm a palette swap of King Valentine. A wise man. I suppose it's better than being a palette swap of a normal sorcerer. But then again, Valentine's a palette swap of normal skeletons. Wow, that's kind of sad. Who died and made you bought? Oh. Show me the way. Right. Let us abominations leave and enter the living world so we can devour life. Gonna have to take him out. I like how they're going in order of the uh, the disasters, one by one, from the prophecies. It's pretty awesome. What's happening? Well, except for the, the cauldron there. The land is collapsing. What? Hydus, okay, well, I guess the cauldron and Leventhen were out of order, but of the other three. Sinks below the, waves. the prophecies begin. King Onyx. But the world tree is going to stop you this you time, know, Onyx. Whatever that tree is. How would a tree stop a fire? Nah, I'm sure it's not terribly important. You know, I don't think going out to conquer the world when the world is about to die is really a good idea. Maybe I'm the crazy one here, but that just seems rather silly to me. Like, even if you win, w what difference does it make? King Odin, at this rate... Galen runs the netherworld. Do we have any troops? There's two in front of you. Odin should have been way better prepared. Ah, I knew this day would come. I made the veil for this. But then you pissed off the awesome queen of the fairies. We must protect the king. You know, Gwendolyn killed like an army of these things, right? Maybe you should have thought about this before you started stealing all those jewels, Odin. I no longer hear battle. Did you win? I must be the only one left. No, not exactly. Encountering so many Halia must become weak of heart. Why, this Griselda? Have you lost your way in all this chaos? I have never done anything fatherly for you. Not once. I'm gonna refrain from my Gwendolyn comments if from I before. Could die for you, I would be satisfied. It seems that we can be together forever now. Are you happy, Griselda? You're so lovely, my child. I, I mean, I get that she's comforting him. But he doesn't deserve it. I suppose Griselda's a better person than I. death triumphs. From the balcony, you can see the dark troops cover the mountain and beyond. 
The spirits shall soon arrive here. Red Nonival must be... Yeah, it's gone. Princess, remain calm. We must escape from here. I understand you and must be worried about Oswald. Swim across the ocean? You know... If they knew this was gonna happen... You think they would've had some boats ready? Maris, I'm sorry. Please fetch my spear. Princess I mean, Arian can't be, like, the entire land, right? Or maybe it is. I, I don't know. No, just seems weird it. that there'd just be, like, one Pangea in the Valkyrie. world. If it becomes too much for me, I shall fly away. Now, go on. Princess. If we are to meet, let us meet atop Horn Mountain. They're coming. Yeah, not like that'll collapse into the ground. Wow, all I'm thinking about is 2012 right now. I didn't like that movie. <laughs> what? No. Griselda? Are you... here for me? No, not exactly. Gee, wonder who Gwendolyn's supposed to fight. Three uh, netherworld monsters is just too much. Even though we've killed, what, hundreds of them? <laughs> okay. The correct character to take on the six-eyed beast is Cornelius. The non-human prince. That's your hint. This is Darkova. Well, yeah. Could trying to fight this even be considered a battle? How did you block that like that? Uh, Ingwei, is that you? Did you use the secret magic? How would you even recognize him? You barely knew him. Yes, it is true. Who's there? Hey, Beldor. Let me introduce myself. Did Cornelius ever meet Beldor? I don't think he did. You're one of them. Is what you said true? No, he's just bullshitting you. Indeed. He used the secret technique in order to stop the cauldron. Was he going to eat the cauldron? He know that there is also a spell to control the Darkova. Control it? That's impossible. Uh, he seems pretty controlled right now. If there was my father would not have been forced to kill my grandfather. After the incident with King Gallen, your father had us oh. research the spell. Well, that makes a lot more sense now. Our work was successful. My father? What are you planning to do? Foolish questions deserve no answers. If he plans to become king, king of the world. What he's been planning since the beginning of the game. No, he's kind of responsible for all of this. He also cursed you into a bunny. My father also fought a demon beast with this. I'm not afraid. Just wait. I won't let you suffer. Well, let's do this, Cornelius. Bunny against wolf. Wow. Only in the realm of video games does that even make sense. Okay, so let's painkiller up. Unlimited pow up. And regeneration. And overload. Ingwe, this is for turning me into a bunny! This is for being a dick! And 
This is just because I feel like it. Alright, come on, do your stupid attack. Ow. Uh, Cornelius' uh, spin attack there is actually really useful. And uh, Cornelius is actually a really good character to use for this fight in general. Because he's so good in the air and you have to jump up to get to them. Uh, could you... There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I leveled up. Oh, 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 I got poisoned. Let's just use an antidote to remove that. Ow. Let's go ahead and go back to our Jupiter Bangle. And unlimited pal. We'll buff up all over again. Did you just throw an ice cube at me? How rude. I don't even have anything to, uh... Well, I don't even have a drink to cool with it. Sorry about that, anyway. Alright, can you die? Hey, don't make me do this, uh... Oh yeah, I kind of realized uh, just now that there seems to be a fire head, an ice head, and a poison head. You must lose some of the attacks then when you take out some of the heads. Is uh, you can tell from the uh, the color of the eyes, unless that's just for decoration. I don't know. Purple seems like poison. Red seems like fire, and the little white blue there seems like well, ice. But I could be. I mean, I don't know for sure. <laughs> just kind of just noticed that. Ow. You bastard. Detox charm. Really? Oh, come on. Ow. Oh, wow. I almost just died there. Holy crap. Uh. Yeah, don't do that again. Elixir. No, really. We're having a bunny with a sword. A magic sword, no less, that absorbs souls. Fight what is essentially Cerberus. Wow. Video games are weird. <laughs> uh. Hey, it's pretty badass, though. Yeah, Link wishes he could do this as a bunny. Alright, you're starting to piss me off. Alright, come on. It's time for you to die, anyway. You know, it would help if I would use Overload. I wonder what levels the game expects you to have at this for this uh, part. Like, I wonder if they expect you to actually level to like 50 or something ridiculous. It certainly feels like it with the amount of health they gave the bosses. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this, but uh, all the items you use in Armageddon don't matter. It'll reset when you restart Armageddon. It just carries over directly from whatever you had in the character book. Cornelius. Oh, hey Velvet. How convenient. She shows up even when you don't select her. Oh, he's he's alive. Anyway, you're hurt. It's calm, Velvet. Don't you feel it? Even now the cauldron is absorbing photons from the world. Yeah. I couldn't destroy it. Yeah, that's bad. 
It's too late. The root of the land is dead, and Arion is sinking into the ocean. That's that's not good. Do you remember the note? Mother's note? Perhaps destroying the cauldron is the wrong thing to do. Hmm. She what do you mean? The note for us. Perhaps she tried to tell us how to overcome the dangers. The cauldron guides the way with the final stone. If the core is reversed, the foson stored inside will be. Oh, released. so we could. That might save us all. We could uh return the fosons to the world. Okay. Inway. Don't concern yourself with me, Cornelius. You're near death too. But thanks to you, I was able to return to my own body. Yeah, could you not do that again? The whole transforming into a giant Cerberus. Don't worry about me. Mother waits for me on the other side. She's sure to punish her bad son. This is your cowardly brother's last request. Elvit, do your duty. Now go. Cornelius isn't dead, by the way. He's he's fine. God damn it, game. You just had to pull that at the end, didn't you? Uh, that actually gets to me a little bit. And I know what some of you are thinking. Uh, what happened to Beldor? I have no idea. Atlas just completely forgot about him in the path to the, the true ending. He clearly doesn't survive. Uh, I mean, it's stated that, well, due to what happens in the end of the game, he's definitely dead. I mean, well, I suppose he was already dead, but he's he's definitely dead again. He he doesn't make it through Armageddon. It seems to me that Atlas just completely forgot about him, and the writers did. I don't know how they remembered to kill him off, or show what he was doing in all the other cutscenes, but not the actual correct one. I'm gonna assume Velvet killed him off-screen. That, that's, that's what I got. Velvet killed him off-screen. They never explain it, he just disappears, and all I know is that he has to be dead, based on what I know about the plot. So, oh well. Anyway, I'm gonna end it here, and, uh, well, go on to the next part of the finale, where we'll, uh, take on King Gallon. This time, he's going down. This is Ryzen. Thanks for watching. Take care.